and welcome to my channel Emma Jane's Garden. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a beautiful hand tied bouquet with all these beautiful flowers. Um, these have all come out of my garden. Um, I picked these last night um, and I'm going to show you exactly what it is I do with them. Doing a hand tied bouquet is um, not the easiest. Um, if you want to get that spiral so that they stand up on their own you need to be able to spiral the stems um, so this is completely different to making a market bouquet where we just put them all together and we give it a face and so that it looks good in, in paper these need to look good out of paper they need to look good in paper they need to look good in a box it depends on how you're going to display them so um, how should we start so you need to start with three main stems so I'm going to choose I've got too much to choose from. Also, it's not very easy to do it in a box like this. Normally it's better if you lay them out. Um, but so that you've got something beautiful to look at, I'm going to do it this way. So my, these are some absolutely beautiful um, dahlias, but they're not very long stemmed, so they're not very good for a middle focal flower. So what I'm gonna do is, um, I'll use them towards the end. So what I'm gonna start with is something that, it's got some decent height to it, so I've got some gorgeous flocks here, um, which is losing its petals. So I've got some lovely flocks. Um, that's what happens when you bundle them together. Put that on there. I've got some. Look at the length of that calendula. So that's a calendula. Um, I can't actually remember what this one's called. Um, not sure so I've got calendula there and what should we go with maybe a bit of the Achillea look at the length on the Achillea so this is called the pearl this is the single variety of the pearl I've got a double variety here somewhere as well and once again just making sure you're stripping off everything that you don't need from layer on I've done mainly I do this on my field already before I even bring them home so there's generally not a lot of stripping to be done um, so you're going to start with three so what you do is you've got the your two stems you start with your main stem and then you're going to cross this one so you're going to cross it over so that you've got this stem this one is at the back and it's making a v across then you're going to bring this one in and you're going to tip this flower so it's now at the top and you're going to bring this one in so that you've got a star shape. That is the beginning of your hand tied bouquet and you can see that you've got the line. Okay, so then what you're gonna do is you're gonna add in something else. So, ooh, what shall we add? Let's add in, well, some of these annoyingly were left in the sun so they've gone over very slightly, but for this, that's fine. I'm gonna end, so the cosmos, what I'm gonna do so we've got our three, so I'm just going to bring them in slightly and we're going to bring this one in here. And then what we're going to do is a very slight twist. And as you can see, that's just twisted it slightly. Um, we've got some beautiful Dorcas here. This is my Dorcas Carotta. Um, and it's like a wild carrot, but it's this gorgeous purple colour. So we're going to bring that one in as well. And then we're going to twist slightly. So this is where it will start to draw itself in. But you can still see that it's got the, the, the angles on the bottom. Okay. And we're going to go in with one of these gorgeous daisies. I love these daisies. I just think they just make everything so cottagey. And again, you're always adding this way. Always adding that way. And then a slight twist. Oh, let's try some of the snaps. These ampharinums, absolutely gorgeous. So and what I'm going to do this one is I'm going to bring it up higher. So it's going to come up higher and again, lying it to the back of the bouquet, but we're going to bring it up higher. And a very slight twist. And we've got this beautiful pink Achillea 
I think this was called Summer Berries, this one. And again, at the back and twist. And then I've got, this is actually a weed. Um, and I've not stripped it, naughty. That's because I put it in last minute. This is called um, Shepherd's Purse, but I cultivate, I keep it um, because I think it goes so lovely in bouquets, it looks brilliant in weddings. Again at the back, but we're going to bring that up much higher so that he's up high. We're going with, oh, a big bunch. I'm just going to lay these out. Okay. So we got some scabious, beautiful, look at that, absolutely stunning. Bring that one in. In fact, I'm gonna do two of those in the same place, so there's another one. So don't be afraid to group things together as well. You don't always need to have something different each time. Okay, some more of the Achillea, this side. Got some gorgeous cosmos. Some more snaps. Like that. Another one. And just keep on twisting. So you keep every time you put a flower in or every I sometimes do every other or every third, I then twist, but you always lie in it this way. So it's always facing this way, never face it the other way. Um, if you were to face it the other way, you'd end up with it going the opposite way and, you, and then you'd um, get caught up in your spiral. And I'm sticking up, shedding petals everywhere. There we go. These flocks are beautiful. And this is called um, creme brulee, I think this one was called. So stick that in as well. Yes. Okay, I'm going to crack on with this and I will do a little bit of speed up, speed it up video for you and I'll show you what it looks like towards the end. Bit of raspberry leaf. Always oh, good, looks amazing in the So we've also got some fever few, which I think is absolutely beautiful. Again, gives it a bit of more of a cottagey look. Um, so that's how we've got so far. <clears throat> and as you can see, the dahlias at the front have made a really nice like statement. 
Um, but what I wanted to do was obviously look good from both sides. So I need to bring something in around the back now. So we're going to keep twisting. As you can see, the back is not looking as good. So we're going to bring in some of these flocks, I think, at the back. And I've also got some dahlia here. I've got another one. It's not quite as big as that one. Still very beautiful. So we're going to bring these down. As you can see, it needs to be brought down now because it's got a, back, a bit more, a bit of a high back to it at the moment. So some of these smaller ones. I've got these gorgeous calendula here. I love these ones. There we go. So we're going to bring that down. Flocks around. <clears throat> Still twisting as we go. I've also got some mints here. I'm going to bring that in. I love having herbs, like mints and stuff in the bouquets, um, especially if you're doing wedding bouquets or anything. It just gives that real fresh smell to it. Um, and I love this guy here. He's just gorgeous. Um, so this one of my dahlias. I'm going to bring that at the back here. Just making sure there's no leaves at your binding points. go there uh, I've got this other gorgeous one here so we're gonna put this one in here as well and as you see the complete spirals you got to hold with a really light hand so don't hold your hand very heavy it's a very light hand so you hold it too tight you won't be able to move any of the flowers it's gorgeous okay so as you can see now it's it's getting it's a bit more all round Got a bit of a gap here so the best thing is to um, when you're making these is to have a mirror in front of you so that you can see all around so you can see which where you're missing so I'm just going to see if I can fill a gap the back there oh, I've got this lovely this is a perennial flocks this white one um, and the creme car oh, creme caramel I think it's called is more of a um, is an annual the, the, this yellow one is an annual. So I'm just going to put this flux in here. So just a little bit lower so that it's filling that gap. Um, and what else have I got? Look at that Cosmos. It's huge. Look at it compared to my hand. So big. And I'm going to bring him in as well. We'll snip off one of his side shoots. Although it does look nice like that. that's better so now we've got an all-round bouquet really light hand and if there's anything that's fallen just get your fingers like this in and underneath the flower and then you can raise it up and you'll find that some of the ones you started with like the white achilles and stuff will have just dropped slightly um, so if you've got a really gentle hand you will find that they slide down ever so slightly but don't worry don't be afraid to just give them a quick pull back up to the position you want so that's how we want them I've got a few of these oh, the scabious just need to pop up a little bit because they've dropped in and see this guy is nestled in just a little bit I like things to pop I like it to be a bit more wild I don't like my bouquets to be tight and all one level I think they need to be a little bit more wild looking but then that's my that's that's the way I do it Okay, just realised I was getting really close to the camera, so you may not be able to see that then. Um, so, that's that. Oh, I've got one more. I've got this little guy. I've got a green one as well, so we're going to bring this guy in as well. Just to finish off. This is where I'm really bad at finishing off, because I always think, oh, just one more. One more. <laughs> one more little thing. Um, and then I never get round to ending and then I've got some lovely sweet peas and what I do is I cut them on the vine and they just bring a little bit of um, wildness again I suppose so it just gives it that more like cottage gardeny look to the flowers that's that I do like them I got any more? Yes, I've got one more here. So I might 
beautiful. I'm just going to snip this one off because it's just going over. And obviously you don't want anything near your binding point either. So, um, so as you can see, it's a lovely spiral. I'm just going to turn him. So I'm going to put one here. That. And then the mint. Last bit of mint. So I'm just going to take these bottom leaves off. In there. Okay, where's that thing? It disappeared too. So there we go. And then all you need to do is piece the string. So exactly the same as the market bouquets. Um, what I do is I try not to ever rest the plants on the bench. Um, let's just move these. So I get my piece of string. So I've got my thumb here and I use that to just pull the string up so I've got enough left at the bottom here to tie with and then with this bit I'm gonna just go around so if you hold the flowers upside down all the petals will go forwards just makes life a little bit easier we'll go around being fairly tight remember you need to they need to be fairly tight And then if you hold them upside down like this, they're not going to be damaged on the table. You can just tie them up like that. And again. Go. And that's then tied. And that's the spiral. And then all we're going to do is at the bottom, I'm just going to cut them all off level. Like this. So you try and find the shortest stem. I've got a few that are a little bit shorter. So I don't want to go too short with this. So I'm going to go to here, cut. Try and keep them all as straight as possible. Which I haven't. There we go. And then they go like this. And then what we'll do is I'll just move these flowers out of the way. You can pop him on the bench like that and he'll stand up. So that's it all stood up. As you can see, it stands up really lovely. That's, that's him done. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. I love making my hand tie bouquets. One of my favourite things to do. Um, I will be doing my no floor foam video. I promise you, I know I said I was going to do it. I will be doing it. Um, I'm going to actually video it using these flowers again in a minute. Um, I am still waiting for my new phone to arrive though. So I'm having to record this on my son's phone. So I thought I'd do this one, get it out, and then at least I can um, wait for my new phone to come and then I will get on and do the no floor phone video. Um, so I'm just gonna wait for my new phone and I'll get that one done. In the meantime, please like and subscribe my channel and you will get a notification when that video comes out. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.